Uh, you testified last month, and I'll quote, I do not think the Department of Justice fairly treated these FISAs. And Carter Page was on the receiving end. Okay, is that true? That's, I recall that. Yeah. You also founded several, found several major issues with FBI, an FBI case agent who was investigating Carter Page's investigation. We'll call him case agent number one. I just wanted to go over a few of them. Case agent number one never shared with the Justice Department information that showed Carter Page was innocent. For instance, he never met Paul Manafort. He told you he couldn't recall why that happened, correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, case agent number one wrote that Christopher Steele, the source for Carter Page's FISA, that Steele's work was previously used in criminal proceedings when that wasn't true and contradicted Steele's FBI handler, correct? Um, they never shared it with the FBI handler, uh, handling agent who said that he thought it wasn't fully accurate. Okay. Uh, case agent number one did not share with the Justice Department information that showed Papadopoulos, another campaign associate, of being innocent. Um, case agent number one just said it may have been an oversight, correct? There were um, uh, interactions by FBI confidential human source with Mr. Papadopoulos, where Mr. Papadopoulos made statements that were inconsistent with the allegations in the FISA, and that information was not shared as, it, shared as it should have been with the Justice Department. Okay. How can you miss something that important on an investigation as sensitive as looking into a presidential candidate? Do you think that's odd? That, that was our concern with the explanations we received, why we noted in our report that we didn't find those, in, those explanations convincing in the least. Okay, again, with regard to case agent one, who was in charge of putting together the Woods file for accuracy, you found 51 errors in his Woods file verification, right? That's correct. Kind of scary, isn't it? Yes. Uh, real scary. Quoting right, uh, right from your report again, quote, case agent one provided the DOJ attorney with inaccurate information that failed to disclose the extent and nature of Page's relationship with that agency, end quote. Correct. Uh, the, neither that case agent or anybody at the FBI shared with the Justice Department the information that Mr. Page had been previously in operational contact for another government agency. Isn't that kind of scary? Kind of leads one not to trust the government, doesn't it? That information came to the FBI in August of 2016, well before any of the FISA applications, and it should have prompted interactions with the other government agency to understand the nature of that relationship and how it might have impacted going forward with any FISA. It's sad, isn't it? It kind of, it makes one not surprised at all why on, on all levels of our government there's not trust in our government, right? It, it certainly creates the very deep concern about uh, authorities like FISA, the use of those authorities, and I think that's why uh, you see some of the orders coming from the FISA court now. Okay, I'm almost out of time. Case Agent 1 was actually promoted in the, in the middle of the investigation, right? Case Agent 1 was promoted during the course of the investigation. Uh, I, I know. Well, uh, another case agent took over day to day, and this new case agent questioned if it was prudent to renew the FISA warrant on Carter Page, but got overruled by Case Agent 1, correct? Um, two agents spoke about, as we relayed in the report, why not only was the FISA going forward, but why Mr. Page was even still a subject of the investigation. Um, it's not clear to us who made the ultimate decision to nevertheless go forward um, with the next FISA renewal. Okay. You, you didn't name case agent one in your report, but could you at least tell us, did this guy's boss know what he did? So um, case agent one supervisor, who was a supervisory special agent, was responsible for double checking um, and following up on the Woods process where all of those uh, errors were located. And that supervisory special agent also did not do their job in following up and, and identifying those issues. Does the FBI director, Ray, does he know who this is? The uh, agent is? Yes, he does. And does the attorney general know? Um, I believe he does, yes. Okay. What did Director Ray say to you about this case agent? Did he say anything to you about him? Um, or Director her? Ray was very concerned about, frankly, the activity for all of the individuals who had responsibilities and didn't uh, conform to what they are required to do under FBI procedures.